Today is July 17th, 2018, and 22 years ago today, TWA Flight 800 exploded off the coast of Long Island, killing all 230 people aboard the flight. Now, I realize this story is 22 years old, so why is it relevant today? Well, it's relevant today because the surviving family members deserve to know the truth of what happened. And according to hundreds of eyewitnesses, these families and the American public in general are not getting the truth. These hundreds of eyewitnesses claim they saw a missile ascend from the horizon and strike Flight 800, taking it down. Some of these eyewitnesses took out an ad in the Washington Times. They funded this ad themselves. And as you can see right here, a lot of these people want their testimony heard. Their testimony was denied. Now the uh, official government explanation of what happened was that there was a center fuel tank explosion caused by a short circuit and that brought the flight down. And they say that all these people that saw a um, missile going up, they were mistaken. What they were actually seeing was cascading fuel coming from Flight 800 and burning and coming down. So all these people, according to the government, what they saw was an illusion. They didn't really see what they saw. I find that hard to believe. Um, one witness, Major Fred Meyer, who was probably the best witness, was uh, with the Air National Guard. He was in a Black Hawk helicopter at the time. And he says he saw ordnance take down the flight. And this is coming from a Vietnam veteran. Now, another witness, Mike Wire, um, he was a, a witness that played a big part in all of this because he was from a vantage point out in West Hampton where there was um, visible landmarks. So there were these two houses and this bridge here. So you act, can actually, he could actually describe the way the missile came up at a 45 degree angle. He doesn't use the word missile. I'll give his uh, video at the end of mine. I'll offer a, uh, a link that you can check out. But he says, what he saw what appeared to be fireworks come up from the shore, then go out into the ocean, and then a big explosion. So, um, um, some of you may not ever have heard this story. If you want to read more about it, check out this book right here, TWA 800 by Jack Heschel. Good book. But it's been 22 years, um, and in the year 2018, where we're getting a lot of... Uh, uncertainty in the news about who's telling the truth, who's lying, who's making things up. I think we have to go back and cover this story. I doubt you'll see any news reports today on it commemorating the anniversary. That's why I'm doing this video. So uh, keep the story alive, pass it around, get some of your own information, send out links, and um, let's try to get some, to some truth because hundreds of eyewitnesses cannot be wrong.